Okay, we're almost at the end of the paper here, and we need to, but we need to keep our wits about us. This question's a lot of words, and it's also one of those questions where you have to uh, really clearly explain what you're doing in order to get all of the marks. So Barbara uses her car to drive to work. She gets paid 40p for every mile she drives, and she drives 2,000 miles every month. Now, her car consumes a gallon of petrol for every 50 miles it drives, and the upkeep, it costs 10 pence per mile. Petrol costs 5p per gallon, and we want to calculate it just a fuel bill. So, she travels 2,000 miles, and her car does um, 50 miles per gallon. So we need to do the calculation. 2,000 divided by 50. And if we do that, we come out with, we'll take the zeros off, 200 divided by 5 is 40. She uses 40 gallons of petrol. Okay, so if she uses 40 gallons of petrol, you've now got to do the calculation 40 times 5 pounds, because that's how much it costs per gallon, and it costs 200 pounds, but that's every month. Okay, so to find the total cost, you need to times that by 12, which is 2,400 pounds per year. Okay, times it by 12 months gives you the cost per year. Now, after paying for everything, after getting her expenses and then paying for the fuel and the other running costs, she wants to then also buy a holiday that costs £3,000, so that we need to work out whether she has enough. So the fuel for a year, we've just worked out to be 2400 The other costs, well, what's the other costs? It's 10p per mile, costs 10p times 2,000 miles. That equals 20,000 pence, which is divided by 100, which is 200 pounds per month, which is equal to, again, another 2,400 pounds per year. So her total costs for the year A total cost for the year are four thousand eight hundred pounds. Okay, so that's how much it costs. But she gets in expenses. She gets forty p every mile, and every month she does two thousand miles, doesn't she? So she has to do four times uh, two, which is eight plus. One, two, three, four zeros. So it's eighty thousand P, which is eight hundred pounds per month. So she gets paid eight hundred pounds per month to run a car. Now, eight hundred times twelve, twelve eights are ninety six, so it's nine thousand. Six hundred pounds per year. I just times that eight hundred by twelve. So it costs the total costs are four thousand eight hundred, and she gets in nine thousand six hundred. But she wants to pay for a holiday for three thousand pounds. So can she afford it? Well, let's just come up here. Um, yes. She can afford it as four thousand eight hundred plus three thousand pounds that she wants to spend on a holiday. That comes to a total of seven thousand eight hundred pounds. She has saved nine thousand six hundred pounds. So, has enough money. Now, that's quite a tricky little question. You've got to do quite a lot of calculations for that in order to get all the marks. 
So uh, you need to kind of keep your wits about you and kind of remember what you've calculated and whether it's in pence or pounds and whether it's per month or per year. So it's so a little bit tricky, so go back over that if you need to.